May I help you? Is uh, Whitney Russell back yet? I'd, I'd like to talk to her. She broke her curfew tonight. I'm afraid she's not permitted any visitors. This is an emergency. You'll have to come back tomorrow and see what Mother Superior says about all this. Please, I, I can't do that. This is a matter of life and death. Hey, honey, what's going on? I've already been in trouble for being out so late tonight. Um, it's Luis, Whitney. He's, he's dead. No. Yeah. Um, my parents, they came to the mansion and they, they told me that he, he was killed in some kind of bar fight in Morocco. Okay, well, I don't understand. I, I mean, was he with Beth or did it have to do with Marty? Uh, I, I, we, we don't know. I mean, we, we know that's why he left Harmony, but apparently he got involved with something that didn't really concern him and they, you know. That doesn't make any sense. I, well, my dad thinks that Alistair's the one behind it. Oh, my God. Uh, well, come, uh, um, sit down, sit down. I, 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 I guess I can't even believe this is happening, along with everything else. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of trapped in a nightmare, and then I, and I can't wake up from it, you know? Well, first of all, you never should have gone through with marrying Alistair, and now you have this tragedy with Luis to deal with. Look, I thought that if that if I married Alistair, I would be able to handle it. You know, I, I did it so I could be close to my daughter and to Ethan, and, and now I'm not really sure anymore. Because I can't even stand the thought of him touching a single strand of hair on my head, much less anything else. He's raped you again, hasn't he? Many times, Whitney. And he doesn't care that I'm, that I'm repulsed by him. I mean, he, he's so sick, Whitney. It just it makes me want to kill myself, you know? Okay, well, look, you just shouldn't talk like that, especially in the house of God. Look, honey, I'll pray for you. I don't want your prayers. I want out. But I can't. Because Alistair told me that if I, if I left him, that he would make sure I never saw my son again. I know, I know. You feel trapped. Look... I need your help. I need you to help me get rid of Alistair. You want me to help you get rid of your husband? Look, Whitney, um, about an hour ago, I was in the, the library and I was holding a letter opener and I was thinking about using it. You can't do something like that. I've got to stop Alistair, Whitney. I've got to stop him from forcing me to have sex with him against my will. All right, but, but you knew he was going to do something like that when you married him. Look, I close my eyes. I pretend that it's Ethan that I'm making love to, but the fact is that it is Alistair. He is violent. And he's rough. And he makes me act like I'm enjoying it. It's horrible. And if I go back home, he's just going to want me back in his bed again. So we'll get an annulment. I can't do that. Alistair told me, Whitney, that if I leave him, that he will take my son for me and, he, and he'll make sure that I never see him again. And part of the reason that I married Alistair was to be close to both of my children. Aren't you forgetting someone else? And Ethan. Yeah, my motives were selfish, Whitney, but I don't deserve this. I can't stay married to a man who has killed two of my brothers. I can't. So your solution is to kill him? Look, I don't want to lecture on mortal sins, Whitney, okay? I've done enough bad things in this lifetime to bar me from the gates of heaven anyway, so maybe if I just get rid of Alistair, I'll make up for some of those bad things that I've done. And if not, at least I'll be a rich and powerful widow. Look, you don't mean any of this. I mean, for God's sakes, you were almost executed by the state last time you were accused of murder. First of all, Whitney, I, I didn't kill Julian. Secondly, he turned up alive. This is completely different. 
This is killing my husband to stop him from raping me over and over and over again. But this is not a solution to your problem, and you know it. Help me think of a way, Whitney, where I don't get caught. I'm not listening to this, okay? I can't use a knife. I can't use a gun. It's got, it's got to be something else. Look, I'm not having this conversation with you. Taking another life is a mortal sin. And if you kill Alistair, I'll be forced to turn you in. You wouldn't do that to me. You would not turn me in. Maybe I wouldn't before I joined the convent. But I definitely would now. Look, if you decide to kill Alistair, I'll be forced to turn you in. Go ahead. The only person you're talking to these days is God. And he's not going to stop me. Well, that's blasphemy. You know what? I'm talking about ridding the world of the devil, Whitney. You should be praying for me to succeed. God will forgive me for getting rid of that monster. He may even make me a saint. Look, look, I don't believe this, okay? I don't believe any of this. Well, you Come better on. believe it, Whitney, because I've learned the hard way that you can't depend on anyone else in this short life that you're given. You have to take care of yourself. And the only way for me to get out from underneath Alistair's thumb is to make sure that it never moves again, along with the rest of him.